Hello. Hi, everyone. I'm very glad to be here. I come from the Spanish Revolution, and I'm going to show you three things we did there in order to confront this, um, as you can see, read here, financial order, OK? First thing, in 2001, the World Bank and the IMF were scheduled to meet in Barcelona, and we didn't want that to happen. So we came up with this idea, la bolsa la vida. That means something like your money or your life. Bolsa in Spanish means also a bag and stock exchange. So we were like thinking, what we can do with these two things? And suddenly someone was like, hey, you know what? The stock exchange building is considering historical building, building. So you can schedule a tour. And that's exactly what we did. We called them, and we were like, hey, guys, I want to schedule a tour. They were like, no problem. How many people are you? And we were like, mm, around 10,000, more or less. And they were like, uh, so they were like, you know, I don't think you can do it. But we didn't care much. And we sent these pictures to the press that we took some days before. And what happened later was that the government decided to put some police in the entrance of that building. There is a picture of that. And so we just kept going with these pictures sent to the press. And they also kept going, sending police to that building. So finally, the brokers were so pissed off because they couldn't come in without being shirts and everything that they decide that they are not going anymore. So <laughs> believe it or not, the building of the Stock Exchange building in Barcelona was closed two days <laughs> just because, you know, a funny <laughs> phone call and some stupid pictures. So we just have to celebrate that this is a picture of that day, you know? So first lesson of today, the less you do, the better. I mean, this is very important. This is very important for uh, activists. But this is even more important for artists, you know? So 2006, Spain built more houses than Germany, France, and Italy combined. That created the biggest economical bubble ever in our country. You know, the housing bubble. Banks creating that time 40 years mortgages. So we couldn't stand it anymore. And suddenly, this anonymous email went out saying, like, next Sunday at 7 p.m., sitting in all, you know, Spanish cities at the same time. And that was very successful. You can see a picture here. You know, people were screaming, this bars the bubble, and all that. <clears throat> so we were like, yeah, this is great, but we have to go to the next level. We wanted to make, like, bigger thing, big, bigger events. And for that, we were like, we need an image for this new movement. Uh, so we were thinking, which kind of image can represent that? And we came out with this poster that actually says, you will not have a home in your, in your whole fucking life. <laughs> and we were pasting these posters all over, you know, several times. That became very famous, actually. For a while, that was more famous than Barcelona Football Club, believe me. So um, what happened later was that actually works. And we started to make this huge demonstration with 10,000 people, this one with 15,000 people screaming, I'm not going to have a home in my fucking life. But that wasn't enough, neither. So we were like, what else we can do? And someone said, like, why don't we scream this even louder? And I was like, OK, why don't we make this world record of people screaming at the same time, I'm not going to have a home in my fucking life. So um, we called to the Guinness world record. <laughs> and we, we were like, hey, we're going to break the world record of people shouting, we, we, you will not have that. And they were like, they considered the And finally, they say, no, we cannot accept that. <laughs> And we ask why. And do you know what they say? What they answer? They answer, because it's too weird. <laughs> no, really. I mean, these people say that our proposal was too weird. I was like, so we didn't give a shit. So actually, we didn't give a shit. And we keep going with the idea. And we designed these costumes. We designed also this machine that was called Putometro, something like <laughs> Fat Meter that measure the, measure the level of your fucked up situation and something. So the idea was to top it. And uh, finally, the day came, and this is what we did. Llevamos más de un año protestando por la situación de la vivienda. A día de hoy, todavía no nos han 
hecho en mi puto caso. Parece que nadie escucha nuestras reclamaciones. Pues bien, hoy eso se va a terminar. Hoy vamos a batir un récord mundial. Vamos a realizar el grito más alto y más fuerte que jamás se haya escuchado. El grito más alto jamás emitido contra la especulación. Hoy, todos juntos, vamos a batir el récord mundial de gente gritando ¡No vas a tener casa en... ¿eh? So, second lesson of the day, make, your, make public your private thoughts. Don't keep it for yourself. Shout louder and you will find some friends. And 2011, finally, of course, the bubble has burst, as we knew it in that time, and the crisis came. And everybody, everybody was so afraid in Spain. And it took a while to realize that actually it wasn't a crisis. It was a fraud. And <laughs> We knew that for sure the day that these guys, you know, Bankia, this is the biggest bank in Spain, they asked for 23 billions of um, euros to the government, I mean public money, to put in their banks in order to save them. So we, we were very, I mean, 23 billions is a lot. You can see here the graphic, you know what it means. That was the education budget for that day, I mean, for that year. That was the budget for health in that year. So we, of course, were very pissed off and we made a call uh, saying like, hey, take your savings out of that damn bank. <laughs> it's, you know, better for it to go down than for all of us. So quite people respond to that and they started to cancel their accounts. So we went to one of the office. We wait there hidden until this happened. Esto por un lado, esto por otro. Es la vida arrepentida de trabajar con nosotros. Sí. ¿Te has cerrado la cuenta? Sí. ¡Eh, que aquí hay uno que está cerrado la cuenta! ¿Qué? ¿Qué ha cerrado la cuenta? ¡Que han cerrado la cuenta! of clicks, clicks on the internet on actually the first two hours. So uh, third lesson of today, transform your anger into fun. It's healthy for you. I'm more annoying for them. Thank you very much.